Now again back to Mr. Armstrong. There's a lot of saying that he is able to win this race. What do you think? Is yeah, there's a lot of. Uh -huh. We'll put it this way: if he wins the race, everyone who races him, I think needs to have a good hard look at themselves. So I'm not saying uh -huh. he's not capable of winning, but there's a there's a bunch of pros out there. I'll tell you the one thing: Lance Armstrong is is a winner. Okay, he's a dead set winner, and that. A lot of people talk about swimming, biking, and running. There's an attitude that comes with winning, and he has it. And he's going to bring that attitude to Hawaii. And there's a lot of guys who are going to turn up in Hawaii. Do they have the same winning attitude? I think no. I think, you know, off the top of my head, I can count three guys every year to go to Kona with the attitude that they honestly think they can win the race. A lot of people hope. A lot of people cross their fingers. And it's not good enough. It's not good enough, mate. This guy is a winner. Mm -hmm. and that's the difference. So if he pulls it off, a lot of those guys need to dead set quit. They should, be, they should have their pro licenses revoked, you know. You know, I, I guarantee you he's going to go about training methodically if he survives the work. That's one thing to do a 70.3, it's another thing to do an Ironman. If he survives the training injury free and he gets to Kona fresh, he could change the game. But he could open the gates, the floodgates for a lot of other athletes. Yeah, because it's a psychological warfare. Or well, he could put people in positions. You know, now Chris Lieto has an ally. Instead of being a solo rider up the road, he now has Lance Armstrong with him. Maybe Chris Lieto can run quicker now. So if you're, if you're Chris Lieto or young Andy Booker or, or, or these guys who are great, or Sebastian Keenler, who can ride and look at Kona, I mean, there's a ticket. You know, there is, suddenly you've got a front group up there. You're not the solo guy, there's four guys. It makes, it takes away the, the amount of power you have to put out, but you still get the same distance off the bike. And, you know, it's, it's the way Lance Armstrong can change the game. You know, can he win it? Possibly. And it's and exciting to have him as being a winner type and want to win. It gives, he's gonna have it gives spices to the, totally. to the race. And the smart athletes yeah, will I need work. outspoken about it. Totally. Uh -huh. The smart athletes are the ones who will look at how Lance Armstrong can influence the game for them. Not looking at Lance Armstrong as an individual they have to beat, which is so many of the athletes I speak to, it's just so... Mm. They, and that's why they don't win in Canada. Not because they're not physically capable. I'm not going to name people because I know the ones and I just shake my head every year going, oh my God, okay. how don't you win and get up? But they're just too... Stupid, it's not the right word. They don't look at the... the Lance Armstrong has been changing the game for many guys and they can open the race up for guys to win it. And if they're too silly it's more to not realise that, then they Lance... They need to have a more tactical approach to yeah, the race. Look at how Lance can help them win the race. It's, it's not, not rocket science what he's going to do. He swims okay, he swims with the front bunch or just off them. He's the best biker in the world. He's won seven Tour de France. He's going to ride well. And he's gonna, and he's he showed in his first seventy point three that he can ride with the Leader, but he rides conservatively because he knows he has to run, and he ran strong. So you'd have to assess if he's going to be a Leado style rider, if not a little better, towards the latter stages of the bike. So if you're a a young half shot bike rider thinking he's going to have a shot, there's two men you can go with now. So start maybe you change your training and look at that approach as as your approach to winning, you know, like maybe I should do more bike riding this year and, 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 and go with that group and back off my running like this. But people will continue to do the same thing every year because it gives them their confidence and then they'll turn up in the corner and go, yeah. I hope it goes well. And yeah. you know, I, I often say this every year, but you've seen it, I've been there. I was the guy that lost. Every year went in this state and lost and I'd be like, oh, fuck. And then you have to change if you don't. I would have lost 10 of them. It's probably the most difficult thing for most yeah. of the athletes to change. Yeah. And when you look at Craig Alexander, who's been probably the most sex successful guy there for the last six years, he he got the mix right in the beginning. So his change hasn't needed. I forced change upon Craig. Me, everyone mm -hmm. laughed at me. I said, no, Craig will make the mistake of playing the same game. Why wouldn't you? He won in, he got second to me in, in, in 07. He won in 08, he won in 09. What? Sitting with the group and running fast. So when I changed the game in 2010, 
and attacked him and went out. He, he had to change his race plan. And he, in 2011, he came back as a bike rider. He changed the plan. And all the other idiots thought they could roll the same. And that shows, to me, I had more respect out of Craig in 2011 last year and the way he went about that race. I did any of his other races there. Because he showed, he went home, he thought about it, he took the loss on the chin, but he did something about it. The other guys... Just continue. Continue the same, 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 same way, same way, same way. And he knew that they were going to make that mistake, and they did. Now, what happens in 2012? You've got Lance Armstrong now. They're going to take what they learned in 2011. What's going to happen there? And how that bubbles up and plays is going to be the interesting thing. Yeah. Back to the Olympics. If you are on the team, do you have a goal, a strategy? What do you want to do? I want to enjoy, enjoy the yeah. Olympics. You know, that's predominantly like I want to enjoy putting on my Olympic tracksuit and the Olympics and walking down. You know, it sounds so corny, but it will be a really amazing thing for 39. Like. It was a, goal, a dream I'd given up on to win a Hawaii. I had to make that choice. Olympics are Hawaii, I took Hawaii. And now it's, it's like it's been presented to me again. The chance is there. I never, honestly, I never even thought it would ever happen. And then they said, you know, it could happen. So it'd be just like, you know, like you, you've had dessert and then you find a block of chocolate in the freezer. You know, it's like, oh, wow, some more dessert. You know, it's like... It's, it'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy it. Can I win? You've got to be in a race to win it. And, you know, I think it'd be a, an enormous task, probably a thousand to one chance of winning, but, you know, it's in England. England rains a lot. Rains come crashes. Yeah, we'll never know. Who knows? Exactly. You know, and, uh, yeah, who knows? But for me, the Olympics will be about enjoying the race. But it's not result-driven at all. Not result-driven. This is yeah. totally... Totally um, driven by my desire to go to a games, and, and if I was called upon by my nation to to help Australia win a gold medal, because I I don't think I could have done it, I would happily take that role up. I happily enjoy to be part of that experience, to be part of you know. I just I'm looking for the experience at this time of stage in my life. You're looking for experiences to things that you'll carry forever, more than results. I don't. Look at my house, I don't have a medal up anywhere. Yeah. You yeah, wouldn't know I do triathlon, I don't. It never motivated me that, like, yeah, another because one. Because the results are gone so Results are forgotten, yeah. and you realise, you know, people forget them anyway, but they can never rob you of that feeling, like that, you'll, you'll hold that forever, and those experiences are what, you know, build your character. Last question, you will consider Kona next year? Or is it too early to think about that? No, I, you know, do I miss Kona? I, you know, like I, you know, I, I don't know why I need to go back. You know, like I, would I go back? Yeah, I could be brought back to it, I think. But as my, my personal, I, I'm motivated by things that, you know, I need to, I, I need motivation. Like, what is it to, to come back and race Lance? If Lance Armstrong went one Kona... Then yes. Yeah, you know, maybe something like that. I'll go, you know, I want to put my hand up and probably say something silly. and Because I start to say some things silly to motivate myself. You know what, Lance, yeah, you beat everyone, but you didn't beat me. And I, I've had a holiday, but I'll come back champ and I'll race you. You know, that kind of thing. Because that would fire me up. Because, right, now my Kona wars, it's like, I'm happy. You know, I, I miss the race, but I get a lot of satisfaction out of seeing young guys who haven't won and share that with them, you know, like, and, and, and try and tell about my failures and, and see how they handle it, because I know what they're up against, you know, like, and, and it's such a cruel, cruel race, mm -hmm. like a cruel race, and as is all racing, but it's such a cruel event, that, and, and I think our sport is cruel in the sense that it, it just only respects that event mm -hmm. to some degree. Yeah, yeah. It can be the greatest triathlete on earth. Mm -hmm. and, and I often felt that for many years that I was. With, and I had a failing in the and I was just dismissed like a, I was a nothing. 
and, I, and that cruelness is always I motivated to some degree. That cruelness I know makes it so tough on athletes. So do I want to go back and, and frame myself for that again for other people's entertainment? No, I don't see the need, but give me a reason to throw something, give me some motivation, and then and that might be a Lance Armstrong or a someone, you know, I need to be motivated. Right now, it just seems flat. Nobody forces you into no this arena. Me. I don't need to prove myself against Craig Alexander. It's We had three wars in Kona. I won two of them, he won one. In my head. I can sleep at night. Mm -hmm. In my head, and at the end of the day, you know, people will argue who was better, this guy, Norman or Macker or this. But in an athlete's head, they sleep well at night when they know the answer. Yeah. And I sleep pretty well at night. Thank you. No.